You know, what are your thoughts about the actual game? I saw you, you had a chance to check it out at uh, Comic-Con. And yeah. w what are your thoughts about the actual video game? Well, look, I, I first uh, played uh, the game at E3, and I was terrible at it. That uh, overshadowed everything, uh, my own inability to play the game. But uh, I kind of started to get the hang of it at Comic-Con, and uh, I was having a ball. The game itself is uh, rock solid, I think. It's in a really good place. Incredibly playable, you know, very open-ended, a lot of scope, um, and you know, it's like being a kid when you're working on a show to play the game of the show is, uh, I don't know, it's just a treat that you never expect to have in a lifetime. It's amazing. Plus, you're actually in the game. <laughs> right. I know, and I'm kind of weirded out by that. Yeah, because I'm kind of playing with me, which is weird. It's slightly <laughs> awkward. I don't know if they like me as the player, so there you go. Yeah. I have a conflicted relationship with myself. Now, I understand you actually are a fan of MMOs and you've played some of the really tough ones out there, like EVE Online. Big EVE Online player, yeah, I can't play it these days. I keep my account uh, active and in hibernation because uh, it demands far too much time and energy and I don't have it right now. Yeah, I just get blown out of the sky again and again and again and again and again and again and again. But, that's, uh, that's a tough game to play though. That would have to be the most detailed, complex game I've ever played in my life. I mean, you know, just, and I know when, like, when I put it on the shelf for a few months because I'm shooting, and I, you know, and then I ramp up again, oh man, like the, just the curve on getting back up to speed on that game is incredible. Remembering everything, you know. Uh, definitely the hardest, most involved game in terms of what you need to know and be up to speed on I've ever played. But I was, you know, I played EverQuest for years, uh, you know, dabbled in, you know, World of Warcraft. Um, yeah, I played a number of them, yeah. They're giving you a new entry point that should be a little bit easier with Dust 514 on the PS3 that'll take you into the EVE world. Ah, I didn't know they were doing So it. it's going to be more of a straight kind that's of PlayStation 3 shooter. Yeah, 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 that's going to help. They're trying to get people that, you know, don't have a PhD into the game. I, I, I kind of, you know, I'm a little let down by that because I had to get a PhD in order to play it. Um, and having done that and accomplished something, it's interesting, you know, because I was, I was a member of ASCN and then I was a member of Atlas. Uh, I was a member of two alliances that kind of, you know, took over a good chunk of the EVE universe. And uh, it's, uh, it's funny because um, you do all that work. To, to get you know to get into that game to that degree and uh, yeah making it easy is kind of I get kind of like miffed it's like no 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 it shouldn't be easy you should have to go through what I had to go through two years of learning will your allegiance switch once this game is available the defiance online game yeah look I'm already addicted I, ca I can't think of anything more fun than jumping on the game when I'm not shooting and uh, you know and getting the grips and electrics boys in there and and giving them a go too. You know, that'll be hilarious. My trailer is going to become a party house. Do you have a, do you have a, a Xbox or anything in there right now? Like a console? I don't have a gaming console in there at the moment. Um, I just, it would be a really bad idea right now. Uh, I, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm otherwise uh, needed at the moment. And so is my concentration. But uh, And I'm terrible. Like once I start, you know, I'm. I'm a zombie for a while, so I'll be there in a minute. I'll be there in a minute, you know, like a kid with the homework. So, um, yeah, no, I'd get fired. Uh, but once we get once we get Defiance out, it'll definitely be in there. Yeah. What role do you hope the game will play once the first season is over and you have that gap between season one and season two? Well, you know, I think uh, what, the strength of our kind of uh, synergy, if you like, is that. Yeah, the game keeps the show alive while the show's you know re, re kind of vamping itself up and getting going again. Uh, it also uh, creates new content for us and new opportunities for storylines and crossovers. You know, the events that are happening online in that pervasive world are going to uh, help us to storyline for the next season, especially, you know, uh, meta events, if you like, that are going to come in and affect our world. Um, <clears throat> both that and, and more kind of specific things, you know, we can develop characters that are going to come across uh, and cherry pick, if you like, from the best stuff. You know, we got say we have 13 apps or 13 hours of material to fill on the TV show, well then, you know, we can cherry pick from six, eight months of what's been going on in the game universe and, uh, and we can also spend that writing and development time coming up with the best ideas we can come up with to cross stuff back over. So it, it becomes a strength, you know, it really does. And uh, it gives us enormous kind of opportunity for this 
ongoing development, you know, uh, both for us in storylining and, and for the game in terms of what we can add to content. Now that this is becoming a reality, what impact do you think this type of convergence can have on television moving forward? Well, you know, that's just going to depend on one thing, which is whether we pull it off or not. Uh, you know, the industry is, is watching us. And, uh, you know, that's not in a big brother sense. It's, this has been something that a lot of people have, have kind of uh, dabbled with. The idea of, uh, it's been put in the too hard basket, you know, before. And, uh, you know, and I think that uh, Tryon and Sci-Fi have found a, a marriage, if you like, that works. And, you know, that four years of development, that's a big commitment. And, uh, you know, if we pull it off, and uh, I think we are, um, you know, I think you're going to see it again. And uh, hopefully we'll continue not only to, to bring this to, a, to our audience, but to uh, also continue to evolve our kind of mechanics and our systems uh, to, to, to make it even more, you know, uh, synergistic, to create an, an even better uh, paradigm, if you like, in terms of this new crossover media that we're developing.